What's going on guys? So we are still out here at ROA Off-Road at their Experience Center in South, I guess, South Salt Lake City, a little south of Salt Lake City. I got the owner of the company, or one of the owners here, Shane. And uh, yeah, we have been looking at these absolutely amazing off-road, fully off-road. I'm not just saying off-road capable. I'm just saying fully off-roadable RVs. These things are super cool. And in front of me is a really, really cool product. This is actually a brand called The Conqueror. It's a South African brand. I believe they've moved manufacturing operations to China, though, just for full disclosure, because I know a lot of people like to hear that. But from uh, what I've been told, and the products he's been receiving that they haven't skimped a bit and actually the quality has improved slightly, right? Yeah, that's that's what the original owners from South Africa were saying that they are doing a, they're doing a phenomenal job, right? And it's just like everything nowadays, a lot of people, you know, offshore, go offshore to save money and yeah. be able to be competitive in the market for sure. Well, and the key here is that something like this would probably be $20,000, $30,000 more if they continued operating in South Africa or even if they had operations here in the US, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And and actually they've talked about doing some operations in the US and the, the company that actually has uh, purchased rights to the American um, product is they're actually based down in Arizona. So they are um, South African and American owned and operated and just doing some of their production overseas. Very cool. So they might they might do some stuff in the US in the future, but right now, you know, they're trying to keep the prices competitive. So very cool. Now this based on you know the last one, the 440, this is the slightly larger 490. And this unit right here, we talked about earlier on a scale of one to 10, one being the least off-road capable RV in existence and 10 being the most extreme. He said these are like eight or nine. So that's a lot to be said because there are a lot of brands that you may think are off-road capable that are probably more like a three. And whenever we go through this and you see the construction, just how things are built, look at this door, first of all. This is like the type of baggage door you would see on a super high-end motorhome. There are so many cool things about these units and how they're built. So we're gonna spend some time taking a look at the outside of this unit, the inside of this unit, and everything about it. So Shane, do you wanna go over this UEV 490? Yeah, that stands for Urban Escape Vehicle and the Military Tough. And the reason why they say that is because in South Africa, when they started over 30 years ago, they were building for the military and then they moved into the civilian and made it campers for them. So it's an all anodized aluminum. One of the reasons why I say they're so well off-road capable is they have an air suspension so they can lift and have over six in inches of travel. Um, also very lightweight. This one weighs in about 3,800 pounds. Wow. Um, and it, this one has a much more spacious inside. If I were to rate it from the other one, I think I said the other one was maybe a nine. This would be maybe an eight to okay. eight and a half. So a little bit less, a little bit larger, a little bit longer. So some of your angles are a little bit... And might. that's really what you're basing that on. So when you, when you go from a 9 to an 8, it's just because your approach and departure angles change slightly, and that might limit the extreme off-road capability yeah. of where you can take it. Well, and we always, we always run into stairs and knock things off. We're always knocking off jacks on trailers when we go off-roading. Go check out our videos. We go to Moab all the time. And yep. do YouTube channel real quick? Yeah, it's ROA Off-Road. Um, and yeah, our RVs of America, but we go and test them. And the most common thing that we knock off is the stairs. If they have stairs, as you can see, this completely goes out of the way. Very nice. And the stairs are inside. Uh, and these Conquerors, you know, 30 plus years of manufacturing, they've, they've, very, they've dialed them in. They are balanced incredibly to the point where they put one of the batteries on this side of the trailer and the other one on the other side right next to the oh, wheel house, wow. right? So these things just like, as far as towing, I've had this one going 90 miles per hour down the highway, which I don't recommend, but they tow so, so good. I, I love the way the Conquerors tow almost more than any other trailer. I love all the, the useful space out here too. And this is the door. So you'd think you're looking at some utility closet for the outside, but this is actually the inside portion of the door. Yeah, and you have tons of pockets in here. And obviously this is way lighter. And then that shuts in. Oops. And the stairs up. are up. And then they use these cam locks, which suck in, and then it gives it a really good seal. Right over here you have, this is an outside shower, so you can actually mount it up and have hot and cold, whoops, hot and cold water out here. It 
right next to a light too. Yeah, very nice. You also have lights throughout the uh, awning areas. Very small, kind of like pin lights. Yeah. <coughs> oh, there it is. There we go. Oh, there we go. Very ambient. Very cool. Yeah, and then down here you have the little, just lots and lots of little storage spots. Well, first of all, I love how these, all these hatches are built. These aren't built like you would typically see hatches built on an RV. These are like aircraft grade or marine grade hatches. Lots of storage compartments like you mentioned. And real quick, show them the stabilizer legs yeah, and I how love, this works. I love these, these are really cool. So you just pull that and that loops around. And then it locks pins in up place right there and pins in and then there's a little clip that this clips in right here. And so when you get to camp, you just drop this and no tool necessary. You just go and find it at the right spot, wherever you're at, you know, the hill. You get to the right spot and then you push. Let's go right there. And it will actually almost... Oh yeah, you can see it actually lifting the yeah. suspension of the yeah. RV. Yeah. And right now the suspension is in its lowest position, yeah, right? It the airbags are dumped. Position, so we can le so when you get to camp, you level side to side with your suspension and then your front tongue jack, and then you come and put those down, and it really makes it for a stable spot. And then these awnings up here, they're 360, so they'll go around the entire trailer, and they even have zippers and um, where you can actually attach and have an actual entire room and make this into a massive yurt if you yeah want. that's very cool yeah you can sleep a lot of people if you put them outside all led lighting a lot LED of reflective jerry, tape these are jerry can holders where you put your fuel maybe firewood up here um you also have connect um these points where you can actually um they come with little uh loops metal latches that go in there and you can tie things down oh, to very them. cool spare tires spare protected tire with a hub assembly on the back of okay it. so if you actually lose your hub you have a secondary oh, hub. yeah for the wheel and then this is actually a fire grill oh it's that is so cool you can put it over your fire and <laughs> cook on it that is very cool but do, do people actually do that and i say that only because <laughs> once you put it back on it's you're like black it's gonna be black so I, we've done it so um <laughs> i don't know if everybody does that all the conquerors have that too on the grill the that is very cool it looks like we have some outdoor and indoor storage which is kind of cool yeah this is nice is because this is usually where i put like my food and you have lights too out here mm -hmm. and they kind of rotate too so when you're inside you can yeah. shine them in different directions but i put like my food and snacks because when i'm inside i want to be able to access it at yeah. night and then when i'm out here i can also helps with loading it up so you're not having to go inside to load yeah. everything yeah and you got all these pockets kind of like very military -esque, yeah right that's kind of what the idea and then this kind of goes up and then they got a little strap that holds it and you have very extra cool. storage under here too you know one thing i haven't asked of people watching this if you have any of these products please comment in the video i mean i'd love to know what your experience is with this stuff because this is at a whole different level than when you tour a normal rv dealership lot i mean this <laughs> stuff here is just at an entirely different level it's like if you take a plastic toy hammer and you bash it up against like a, a dewalt you know steel anvil it's just <laughs> two completely different types of, of build quality here yeah this is where you put your wine <laughs> and then you got a little everything opens up lots of storage space uh this is your positive air pressure system you turn that on and there's a fan and a filter yeah i can actually see the windows moving now yeah and it sucks the air in and actually pressurizes the cabin so dust or dirt can't intrude when that is so off, cool off-roading right let's take a look at this massive setup yeah, and, and you have hot and cold water, and it's all plumbed. You know, we did a tour earlier of the dwellers, and you actually have to plug those in mm -hmm. on the outside. There's quick connects. This is all plumbed into the actual trailer. So you just Very pull nice. it out and turn it on. And you have the three burner, the medic cooktop. And then I. this is one thing that I really like. Yeah, it comes with all this here. stuff. Yeah, it comes with all your, your whiskey. <laughs> I don't drink, so... There's your wine glass. That's for coffee cups. Yeah. All kinds and it's all of... secured really well. Yeah. It, it, I mean, we've taken these pretty hardcore off-roading and we've never had issues. And these slide into these slots and it comes with all the silverware. That is super cool. All set up. Big plates too. Yeah. And it's funny, these plates fit really well in the tape, the thing. So they kind of, 
really designed everything to work. This is your sinks, and I actually like these because you can like fill them up and keep them. Mm -hmm. And then when you're done, you just kind of throw the water or whatever. Yeah, no, that's awesome. Some of them, like some of the off-road stuff, there's a drain underneath there, and you have to drop it into a bucket. Mm -hmm. It's nice to be able to. And then this is Snowmaster. They're from South Africa as well, and really, really great company. Very cool. Super good looking refrigerator too. Oh yeah, stainless steel. And these things have like the longest warranty out of any 12 volt fridge. So if, first of all, if people don't realize there's two entry exits to this unit. There's one on the other side that we looked at a second ago and then there's one on this side as well with all that same storage on the door. Well, and it's like I said, these are so well balanced even down to the, the doors, right? You have doors on both sides. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Yeah, you have a big, big couch area. And this one has tons of storage. It's kind of hard to capture that, but it's pretty deep in here. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot and of storage you have in here. Storage all the way, all the way over here, too. All around. Yeah, yeah. there's storage over there more storage over here and this storage right here is the inside portion of that outside yeah. part that opens up so and then these ones yeah. are not these ones are only on the inside so you put all your more storage here nice felt lining this is cool and this turns into a big bed i'm guessing yeah, this turns into a big bed almost queen size bed and you have another uh you have another big bed over here. So check this out. And I pointed this out in the other video. It doesn't look like it's that steep until you get up here and you can see how it, it really angles up and gives you a lot of headroom. Plus you have a nice zipper screen window in the back there as well. Guys, if you ever come across one of these at a dealership lot, especially if you're out here in Utah, just take a look at it. You'll see the build quality difference. You really will. It's just, it's insane. When you look at some of the things that they do here, the fit and finish, just what you get. I mean, this yeah. is really awesome. And it's all anodized aluminum, right? And then this this table also, this actually comes out and there's a mount here. It mounts on the outside too. So mm -hmm. you can have more table prep. And behind you, that wall actually is a table. Oh, wow. So that, that little bolt over there, you yep, see it. that and it comes out and it's an entire outside table. So you have two tables that go outside and set up. So you're not like dealing with trying to, you know, find other random tables. So feasibly sleeping space wise, you could probably sleep. I'm going to say if you have three kids, they could probably fit in this space relatively easy, depending on how big they are. Yeah. And then you you have your two adults here and this is, this looks like it's a king size bed. It's Very not, close. It's closer to queen. That, 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 they're kind of funky measurements, but yeah, this one, this one's actually a little bit bigger than a queen and that one's closer, a little smaller than a queen. Okay. Um, it, it doesn't look that way. The yeah, width the of width, this. The width is wider, but it's not as long. Okay. So, that's yeah. So it depends on how tall you are and easily, I would say four adults, you know, maybe a family of five, you know, okay. two adults and three kids. Um, and these cushions are super comfortable. Uh, they got a nice little eggshell to them. Ooh, they do. That actually is really comfortable feeling. Yeah. I gotta sit on it real quick. Yeah, that is a really comfortable cushion. Yeah, <laughs> it is like very, these are one of the most comfortable beds. And what all do we have going on over here? Um, over here we have, we have our air conditioner heater system right here. That's the HB 9000. It's an undermounted bunk. So you know AC units on the roof for leaking or mm -hmm. aerodynamics yeah. too. This is your solar charge controller, which will control all your solar. Um, it comes with solar too. And then you have all your fuse and your pump, water pump, fridge, uh, some outlets here too, and stereos. And lots of, cool. lots of places to charge things. You got your 12 volt yeah. plugs right there to, and a cigarette lighter. Very cool. So now it's time for the guessing game. Wait, did we take a look at the front of this unit yet? No, I can't we, remember. We, we gotta see the front of it. Yeah, let's go look at the front of this unit real quick. Okay, so now we're outside taking a look at the front of this unit. Yeah, and we got your uh, security axe. <laughs> no, yeah. For firewood, of course. Oh, yeah. And then this actually comes open, and this is your airbag system, and it's made by Airbag Man, and it has a tank there. Um, and that's for your suspension to lift level or have more clearance when you're off-roading. This is an Australian company that makes this airbag man. You also have a, 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 an outlet right there so you could air up your tires or even a bicycle. Yeah, whatever, absolutely. Uh, and then also the, uh, the whole frame, it's all like galvanized still, the, the actual chassis itself. Um, and then this is a jockey wheel. 
So if you got in a situation where you needed to recover, you could actually drag the trailer in any direction and then you have your Cruise Master D35 articulating hitch and this moves in every direction, whatever direction you need. And you were telling me this is like a super high-end Jockey yeah, this wheel. is like their own proprietary one. You'll see a lot of Australians using the Arc, but this one conquers designed and made, and it's very heavy duty. We've recovered it with this before. That's very and cool. You got two 30 pound propane cans in there too. Yeah, they, I think it comes with 20, but you can throw in a 30. Yeah, very cool. Really like this unit. Guessing game time. Uh, price man i've been i've been almost right on one of them but everything else i was way too high but i'm gonna guess because this is a bigger unit than that one 75 so not quite uh uh should be if it was still made in africa or the u.s right <laughs> um so this one is coming at, if you're looking brand new you're about sixty thousand. wow so yeah 59 is what we're selling the brand new ones we we actually still have a few 2022 models available that I think are are less than 50. Less than 50? Yeah, but they're brand new too. But they're just a year. year wow. Model. So, so brand new 23s, you're going to be close to 60. Wow. Guys, what do you all think of the pricing? I mean, in my opinion, and, and this is just me traveling everywhere, looking at different RVs, and uh, for the first time seeing some RVs like these, the pricing actually, in my opinion, it's, it's a good value. You're getting a very, very well-built RV that will rival anything from any other manufacturer and then some um, with crazy off-road capability, more off-road capability than your tow vehicle. Yes. That, that's pretty insane. And and the pricing to me is, is I'm going to say it's a little less than where I thought it would be, but it's right where it should be. Yeah, it, for for overseas manufacturing, it's where it should be, right? Yeah. And that and that's what you're you've said multiple times. Thirty percent less, right? Yeah. So you're you're guessing about the right numbers if we were making it in the U.S. Okay, right? and that makes sense. So that's kind of where I think that's what's throwing you off. Yeah, it probably <laughs> is. Anyways, quick again, plug for your channel. Oh yeah, so it's it's ROA Off Road and you can go there. We have over hour long tours. We go into crazy amount of depth and detail. And also um, we do some adventures. You can see us actually taking them off road, camping in them, doing you know rallies and everything. Uh, or just go to our website and check out and get more information there too. Very cool. Shane, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Next video, we will be featuring the UEV 14, which is a little bit bigger than this one even. So it's gonna be really cool to see the inside of this unit. Guys, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel and give me a thumbs up. We'll talk to you again very soon.